हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दिस इज पार्ट सेवन ऑफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सीरीज ऑन डिजिटल डिजाइन एंड दिस इज अ वेरी शॉर्ट वीडियो आई हैव इंक्लूडेड ओनली सिंगल क्वेश्चन इन इट बट इट इज वेरी कॉमनली आज इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन नाउ विदाउट वेस्टिंग माई टाइम लेट एस गेट स्टार्ट इट Friends, question of the session is on your screen, but let me read it for you. There are two optical sensors A and B, which are positioned at 90 degree to each other as shown in a figure. Half of the disc is white and remaining half is black. When black portion is under sensor, so when black portion is under sensor, that sensor will generate logic zero. Whenever white portion comes under the sensor it will generate logic high the behavior of both the sensors is same now you have to design a direction finder block using digital components flip flops and gates to indicate logic 0 for clockwise and logic 1 for counter clockwise rotation of the disc so for example if this disc is rotating in a clockwise direction then direction finder should give logic 0 but if it is rotating in a anti clockwise direction then this direction finder should give logic 1 friends you can pause my video here and take your time to solve this problem and i will be more than happy if you share in the comment section how many of you are able to solve this problem otherwise i will let you know its answer now let me explain you its answer So before knowing its answer let us see the output of both the sensors A and B when the disc is rotating in a clockwise direction so this is the first position so output on sensor A will be high and output of sensor B will be zero now as this disc is rotating in a clockwise direction so both the sensors A and B will come in touch with white portion of the disc so both will give output as high So this is the third position where A will give logic zero and B will give its output as logic high. And this is the fourth position when both the sensors A and B will give logic zero as its output. And then it will come to its original position where sensor A will give logic high and sensor B will give logic zero, and so on. Similarly, let us see the output of both the sensors A and B. when disc is rotating in a anti clockwise direction so this is the original position at this position output of sensor a will be high and output of sensor b will be zero as this disc is rotating in a anti clockwise direction so both the sensors a and b will come in touch with black portion of the disc so both the sensors will give output as zero now this will be the third position when sensor a will give logic 0 and sensor b will give logic high and this is the fourth position both the sensor will give its output as logic 1 and then it will come to its original position where sensor a will give logic 1 and sensor b will give logic 0 and so on friends if you take your attention at the out of sensor a and b when the disc is rotating in a clockwise as well as in the anti clockwise direction you will come to know its answer as we need to design this direction finder block so this block definitely needs one of the signal as a clock input signal now let us take our attention at the output of sensor a and b so output of sensor a is 11001100 clearly it is an periodic signal with 50% duty cycle similarly the output of sensor b is a periodic signal with 50% duty cycle so one of the signal can be used as a clock signal to this direction finder the behavior is same in anti clockwise direction as well the output of sensor a is a periodic signal with 50% duty cycle and the same is a case with sensor b and let us assume that i am applying the output of sensor a as a clock signal to this direction finder now let us try to observe the value of sensor b whenever there is a positive edge on the clock clock means out of sensor a so this is zero and what is the expected behavior of this direction finder when disc is rotating in a clockwise direction we know 
the output of this direction finder should be 0. And what is the value on this sensor B? It is 0. Now, even if I take a simple D flip flop and I apply the output of sensor A as a clock signal and output of sensor B as a data signal, it will serve my purpose. At the positive edge of the clock, the input value B is 0, so Q will become 0. So that means it is the output of this direction finder and it meets my expected behavior. Now let us see if the same circuitry serves the purpose when disk is rotating in an anti-clockwise rotation. So output of sensor A is a clock signal. So at the positive edge of the clock, the value on sensor B is 1. So input of this flip-flop will become 1 when there is a positive edge of the clock. So output will become high. And the same is expected from this direction finder. When disk is rotating in an anti-clockwise direction, this direction should signal should have value high. In short, this simple D flip flop will act as a direction finder. And friends, now I'm going to wrap up this video here and I hope that this would be quite informative for all of you. And in future, we are going to create many such videos. Viewers who have not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it. And to get the notification of all the videos as early as possible, don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching.